case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a revealing products liability case, Cone Cranes, a company specializing in crane services, faced a lawsuit alleging negligence in product design. The plaintiff, a worker who suffered serious injuries when steel sheets fell from a newly refurbished crane, argued that Cone Cranes negligently failed to modify the crane's control to prevent the accident. In Indiana, however, such a case can only stand if it can be proven that the design defect came about as a direct result of negligence. The case, Mesman v's Crane Pro Services, a division of Cone Cranes, Inc., took an interesting turn in the lower courts. According to the negligence formula applied by Judge Learned Hand, the court concluded that Cone Cranes could have prevented the risk of injury at a relatively low cost. The company contested, maintaining the notion that the danger was open and obvious to the operator. The court, however, held that the danger was neither open nor obvious to the injured worker. Despite these findings, the court ruled in favor of Cone Cranes, setting aside the jury's verdict and granting a new trial on the grounds that the plaintiff failed to provide a clear explanation of the accident's cause and prevention. Critically, the plaintiff's expert witness did not even visit the plant in question. This decision prompted an appeal, resulting in a twist in the case's fate. The United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit found the lower court's ruling to be erroneous and mandated a new trial, commanding the judge to refocus on determining Cone Cranes's negligence. The decision was thus affirmed in part, reversed in part, and remanded with directions. In essence, due to the plaintiff's unclear presentation and their expert's failure to physically investigate the accident site, Cone Cranes won the right to a fair retrial. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.